Hello doctors and FMG aspirants. Myself Dr. Sasi. I cleared my FMG in Jan 2023 with a score of 238. And I completed my NEET PG with a rank of 1401 in 2024. With my experience and expertise in NB pattern of examination, today I am with you with must know and most important topics for your upcoming FMG examination. Next, we will see about this baby subject which is what which is the pediatrics. It looks small and it is a baby subject but it holds more than 18 marks. So there will be usual number varies from 15 to 18 questions will be asked from this small pediatric segment. Okay. From where they will ask? They will ask about the neonatal resuscitation and after neonatal resuscitation what they will ask? They will ask about this transient neonatal conditions and about the neonatal jaundice and its management and in respiratory they will ask you about this respiratory distress syndrome and also the congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Fine. And bronchiolitis and pneumonia. How will you able to differentiate and what is the management of these two conditions even. Fine. And they will ask about this APGA score. They will ask you to calculate this APGA score for them. And they also will show this x-ray and they will ask you like which of the following appearance in scene or which of the following disease will show this typical appearance like egg on string or this cottage loaf appearance or the figure of eight appearances. Fine. You just remember. Then this two valuable things. IMNCA guidelines for this pneumonia and dehydration. They will for sure there will be one question from either pneumonia or this dehydration in each part of examination. Fine. And the final one it is what it is the development of the milestones. They will ask you questions from the different developmental milestones. So remember about this developmental milestones there will be minimum one question maximum it may range up to three questions from this just developmental milestone. Okay. Next you need to know about this syndromes from the pediatrics perspective like Down syndrome, Patau syndrome, Edward, Tanifelta, credit chart. You need to know their clinical features, how they present with and their pathology for this syndromes. Fine. And about this febrile seizures, they are testing very frequently. They are asking about this risk factor for the recurrence. About the recurrence and if there is any febrile seizure, how you will manage them. Fine. And next one it is what? It is the types of epileptic seizures what are the types of epileptic seizures and how will you manage them okay and sometimes they may ask you the eeg findings even so remember about the types of epileptic seizures in children and their management fine and this point it is getting popular nowadays it is what it is the short stature this is what this is the proportionate and disproportionate short stature fine just remember Next about this SAM, they ask you the definitions of this SAM, fine. And they try to differentiate between this marasmus and Kashyaka. They will ask you which of the following baby is this and which of the following condition you will be able to see this flag sign, okay. Next one from renal perspective, they will give this classical history for this minimal changes and also they will give this classical history for this PSG again, fine. And the final one it is what it is there. Management of diarrhea in children. In children, how will you manage the diarrhea? So, there may be dehydration part also. This diarrhea, they will ask you the separately might be for the maintenance fluid over. Fine. With this understanding, we completed the pediatrics part. We will move on to the OG part, which is really OG. Why it is really OG? Because obstetrics and gynecology, it looks very small. It looks also very small, but it yields maximum questions from 30 to 35 questions. So, you can easily get this 30 to 35 questions correct if you just take the subjects and grasp this small concept. Just remember one thing that time is now. So you should make use of this PDF or this video for sure. And if you able to make use of this video, you will be able to get your pass mark and you will be able to get maximum mark from your FMG examination. Okay. I am waiting to see you with the other side with colorful colors of passing the examination. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.